Hi. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I have a, a leaks question and uh, two follow-ups on Jenny's questions about sure. North yeah. Korea. Um, are you aware that uh, do you have information suggesting that there has been a new leak uh, of documents, or do you know if there's um, the possibility that there may be additional documents that are released on part of this potential? I'm not aware of any, um, but it's something that the IC, of course, you know, uh, given this latest alleged leak of classified documents, is going to look into. Okay. And um, with regards to North Korea, um, on the trip, uh, the Secretary, uh, when he confirmed the presence of the North Koreans, he also talked about the potential implications for the Indo-Pacific. Yeah. Um, can you walk us through what that means? I mean, potentially, I mean, if there are casualties, could this... And South Korea, you know, promising assistance now, or at least suggesting that they might provide assistance to uh, Ukraine. Um, is, is that what he's talking about, of the potential tensions between both of those countries and how it would impact the United States? No, I think what the, the secretary was referring to is that, you know, if if these soldiers from the DPRK do get involved in active combat operations within Ukraine, that is destabilizing to the Indo-Pacific. Um, and of course, that has an impact to our allies, uh, whether it be in Europe or, or in the Indo-Pacific, particularly the Republic of Korea. Um, I mean, as the secretary uh, characterized it, which I think he did a better job than I would, but you know, the, if it is the case that DPRK soldiers enter into combat, they would be co-belligerents with Russia. And that is a, that is a very serious issue. Um, it's also serious that, uh, you know, this does highlight Russia's desperation. Um, and so I think because it highlights Russia's desperation, it also highlights the fact that we have been successful in continuing to arm and support Ukraine with what it needs. And it's not just the department. Of course, we you know roll out multi-million dollar packages to Ukraine, um, but you have other sections of this administration from, you know, energy, state, et cetera, that have also supported Ukraine during this time. Um, and I think it also shows that um, under the secretary's leadership, the UDCG, which you know convenes um, monthly, um, has been incredibly successful in galvanizing the world. Um, I'll leave it at that. And last mm -hmm. one on uh, North Korea. Uh, Ukraine's Defense Intelligence Service has posted a statement publicly saying that as of yesterday, they have detected the movement of North Korean troops into Kursk. Can you provide a comment or any indication that that is an accurate report? I don't have anything on that that report. All I have is what I was able to, you know, what was what the secretary mentioned yesterday, and I know the White House also did as well. But I don't have anything more on those reports. It's something that we're going to monitor, um, and as we, you know, have committed, we'll keep you updated on that. I see Mike with a 